Welcome to KP Aquatics and today we're going to talk about how you can take care of your fish in a natural way using Indian almond leaves. If you're still new here, click on the subscribe and the notification bell to see more of these videos every week. While many of us understand that in order to keep our fishes healthy, they should be free from diseases and parasites, well, not all of us know that you can do it in a natural way. And that's quite normal. Nowadays, we often resort to chemically made medicines and antibiotics, which at some point compromises our pets. I'm not saying that you should not use commercialized unnatural remedies, but would it be good to have a cheap and natural way of keeping our fish away from harmful bacteria. This is the Indian almond leaves. Indian almond leaves refer to the dried leaves of Terminalia catapa tree. It's a tree that is native to East and Southeast Asia and has been used in traditional medicine for centuries. Once dried, it is ready to be used in aquariums and is said to give a lot of benefits. When added to the aquarium, the leaf will eventually break down, releasing tannic acid and tannins into your aquarium. This results to lower pH for your water, which betas and shrimps and tetras really love, as it makes your water to be more like their natural habitat so close it resembles the waters in South Asia and South America. Studies also show that Indian almond leaves also decreases water hardness which would be beneficial to those who use hard water in their aquariums. Many hobbyists claim that Indian almond leaves are used as a natural remedy for diseases and injuries such as fin rot and skin problems. It has a natural antifungal properties that get rid of bacteria fungus and viruses, which means your fish heals faster. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more benefits of Indian almond leaves that we can include here, but we can't do it all at once. We'll try to cover everything in part 2 of this video, so stay tuned. I hope you learned something today, and if you do, subscribe now and click on the notification bell to be updated weekly. I think that's it for now, I'll see you in the next one, and keep your hands wet.